Let's go over the muscles of the face and the skull. One of the things that you do notice is that they're usually named after the bones that lies under it. So the first one we're gonna see is the frontalis muscle. Sometimes the book call it the frontal belly as it puts the frontalis along with the scalp and the occipitalis over here as one continuous unit. So on this muscle uh, head right here, you can see that you see superficial muscles on one side, the deeper muscles of the face and the skull on the other side. Right, so superficially, you see the frontalis, the scalp, otherwise known as a gallia epineurotica, and then you can see the occipitalis back here. Right, you also see the temporalis muscle that allows you to close the mouth or close a mandible. Now, on the muscles of the face, you see number 28, which is your orbicularis oculi, and you see a muscle that is going to be on your the eyelid, but since the eyes are open, you don't really see it really well, right? That muscle is the levator palpebrae. You see it better on this muscle head, and you see it as number 27 on this muscle, right? On this muscle head right here. Now, the levator palpebrae is number 29 here, and you just see a rough outline. Orbicularis, oculi, and then you see the muscles that are underneath the actual eye area, and it inserts usually in the lip. So you see number 32 over here. This is your levator, palp uh, levator labi superioris, and then you see number 33, zygomaticus minor, and then number 34, zygomaticus major. The major muscles are usually larger, minor muscles are smaller. Right? As we go further down here, you see the masseter, and then you can see the parotid gland and the parotid duct as it enters the buccinator. The buccinator muscle is deep, and in order to really see it really clearly, we're gonna have to remove the masseter, the risorius, as well as some of the levators down, uh, the pressors down here. So we'll see it on the other side, All right? So masseter, this muscle right here, number 39, is called the risorius, and again on that muscle, you see it better on this muscle head all right, you see the risorius as number 36 is a very horizontal facing muscle and it goes deep to the masseter. Right? The next muscle down here, you see number 34, depressor anguli oris. Right? Next to that, as we follow it down, is number 38. All right? And this is the depressor labi inferioris. So we see a depressor labi inferioris, and it works opposite of the levator labi superioris up here. The muscles around the lips allowing you to pucker up, and you can see it really well here as it circles around, is the orbicularis oris. Right? The last muscle that we see on here is the mentalis muscle, one on each side, and it covers up the mental foramen. Now the last thing we also see is that, right, on this side, we see the deeper muscle structures, including now you can see just how large the temporalis muscle really is. Now that we've removed the gallia or the scalp, now you can see the actual size of the temporalis. Temporalis comes down and inserts on the ramus and the mandible. Down here, we've removed the masseter, as well as the risorius and the zygomaticus, and now you can see the buccinator really well as well.